gamers and welcome to my draw my life video so for those of you who don't know what a draw my life video is i'm basically just telling the lore behind me while drawing pictures that fits with what i'm talking about in this video i have decided to talk about stuff that i have not told anyone in the whole world before if you would like to know some secrets about me keep on watching this video idea was suggested by Hugh, uh, he typed in the comments. If you have something you would like to see on this channel, <coughs> then uh, leave a comment. So it all started when my mom decided to give birth to me. I was born at a very young age, like you're supposed to. I do not remember exactly where I lived my two first years of my life. But after that I moved to Nosebro, in a yellow townhouse. I have lived there for 15 years or now, so basically ever since my earliest memories I have lived in this house. I have one big sister called Johanna, who is only one year older than me. I also have a little sister who was born in 2007, so she is 14 right now. Uh, she's called Jennifer. My parents are called Jessica and Jürgen. So we all started, we all start with the letter J, G, however you pronounce that. Making us the family G. God, I hate them. So from what my mom has told me, my first ever friend was a guy named Huck. I think it was somewhere around when I was four or five or something. I could be way off with this, so Quack, if you see this and know when we started to hang out, please don't judge me. I have a very bad memory. Uh, I was friends with him for maybe two years until I met Linus, another good friend of mine. I will get to him later though. Now there is another friend that I really cannot remember at all when I first met him, but deep in my brain, I remember some childhood memories with him. So it must have been somewhere around when I was 7 or 8 years old. Probably. His name is Radevoye, but I call him Radde. Uh, I barely have any memories whatsoever of this time of my life, so let's fast forward a little. Uh, I... I could be wrong here, but when I was in, I think, first grade, I started to hang out with this guy named Max as well. So now we already had four friends in first grade. Quack, Linus, Radde and Max. Max. Uh, that is something I'm very grateful for. I just want to apologize if I have missed something that maybe someone who knows me is watching this video right now knows about. But as I said, I have a very bad memory, especially from my childhood. So as you might expect, I cannot remember anything from this time of my life either. Meaning we fast forward even more to when I was in 3rd grade, I think. That is when I started to hang out with someone called Arvin. This guy and I, this guy and I had the most fun ever, like I cannot remember a single boring day we had. However, one time when I was gonna go to his house to ask if he wanted to play, he was not home. So his little brother Nils opened the door instead. He asked if we could hang out instead, and I, and I of course said, Sure. He later got to become my best friend ever at that time. We did some crazy shit. For example, we used the roof of his house to jump down on a trampoline. Which maybe does not seem too crazy to some people. But you have to remember, we were only around like 10 years old or something. So it was pretty damn high up for us. So yeah, me and him hanged out like almost every single day for pretty, pretty much four years or something, leaving Arvin in the shadows, sadly. I'm so sorry Arvin. Um, after maybe two years of hanging out with Nils, I met the girl that would change my perspective of life forever, Safa. It was me and my big sister Anna who was gonna jump uh, on my neighbor's trampoline, when we saw her jumping on it with her friend Christine. I don't remember this, this is just how my sister Johanna told me it was. It was around the year uh, 2012 or something, maybe 13, somewhere around that time. I 
don't remember exactly how we started to hang out, but I guess we just joined them and bonded there or something. So now I had Quack, Linus, Grant, and Maximus, and Safa as my friends. That is something I'm very, very grateful for. The first years of hanging out with Safa was basically just her and my sister. I was almost never allowed to join, uh, join in and that really made me upset. Around two years of this, I was finally part of the gang. Instead of being Safa and Johanna, it was Safa, of, uh, Safa Johanna and Jesper. If I remember correctly, it was one year after I started to hang out with them. Our YouTube channel Cool Kids was born. A lot of videos were deleted somehow, but there are still a few videos out there, like our first video for example. So go and watch that if you want. I think it was the, t uh, the same year I met my very good friend to today, called Joshua. We met by me, Johanna and Zappa hanging out at the playground, and suddenly we got asked if he wanted to join him and his little sister in a game of tag. We accepted the offer and had a blast. The day after that, we came back to the playground to meet them again, and we kept doing that day after day. We slo slowly got to know each other better and better, until one day, we just hung out together like normal friends at my house. We basically became best friends of them. That is also sadly when me and Neil started to slowly stop hanging out together, which was really sad because he was really such a good childhood friend to me. Fast forwarding to when I was starting 6th grade, I started to catch feelings for Saf. Yes, that is true, everyone who knows me and her, I actually started to fall for this one. I was very good at hiding it, but it is the truth. So now, it really felt like a high, I had everything. The boys, who were Quack, Radde and some others I have not mentioned, and Max. I had two really good personal friends, Linus and Joshua, and also a girl I was in love with. Could it be any better? Well, me and Linus started to bond more in 7th and 8th grade, which was good. Um, I started to lose a little connection with the boys, which was entirely my fault. I'm not blaming this on anyone else. Joshua and I were also getting closer, which was good. But was being more and more friend zoned by Safa while at the time falling deeper and deeper in love. To so do bad, two bad things and good things happened between 6th and 9th grade. However, in 9th grade, my really good friend Linus moved out of town, Base, meaning I basically almost never saw him again, which was really sad. While losing more and more connection with the boys, I did start to bond more and more with Max only. So when we all started high school, I lost connection with everyone, except for that the end Joshua. The reason, and the reason I kept contact with uh, Radde was because we went to the same high school, and the reason I kept contact with Joshua was because he was younger than me, so was not, he has not started high school yet. Then how about Safa, you might ask? Uh, the one you were at this point extremely deeply in love with. Well, Safa and Johanna got into fights a lot of the time, which usually ended up in them becoming friends again, but this time it was enough. After around 10 years of their very good friendship, they stopped seeing each other, which left me alone with her. You would think that was a good thing since I was madly in love with her, but after some days of hanging out with her alone, we both realized that our whole friendship was built around the three of us. Me and we couldn't really hang out with each other alone, it just didn't work. I got to see my best friend I had ever had and the girl of my dreams at this point, slowly going to just being a friend into someone I used to know. That was, a, that was an extremely sad point of my life. I was not alone though. I still had Joshua and a little bit of Radha as well. But it's sad to think that I went from feeling I had everything to 
almost only having your shop. Still a little bit of rubber, but almost because of your shop. So I was close to being completely alone. Anyways, after a whole year of high school, I made new friends, which was Hugo, Billy, Nicky and Alfred. That was at least the ones I connected the best with the first year of high school. Basically meaning I had an, a new The Boys friend group. That felt really awesome after getting closer and closer to being completely alone. That summer break however, that was the worst summer break I have ever had in my whole life. Close to the beginning of that summer break, I got a call from my mother while playing some computer games at Joshua's house. She told me that Safa had died. Even if we didn't ha have any connection at all anymore, hearing that kind of broke me. My best friend and I had for around 10 whole years, who I was also extremely in love with, had died. I was told she died of suicide. That is something I have been blaming myself for every single day, even today. A week after really understanding that she has actually died, I kind of just broke. I didn't really feel anything anymore. No happiness, no anger, no sadness, nothing. Of course, I was pretty much a pro at hiding it, meaning I kept it all to myself. I'm not, I'm not lying when I say it. I say I was actually very close to just end my life as well. The only reason that kept me going was the fact that I didn't want anyone else to feel the way I felt about Safa. Like it was their fault it happened. Because that pain is something I will never forget. So putting that on something else, some, someone else, would really be the last thing I wanted to do. Joshua was starting to get his own friends who he got closer to at this time. I was very alone that summer as well. I did then realize I do still have my family who cares about me. So I was never really alone. So I started to be more of a family person at this time. But this experience had taught me something about life. That at any time and any day, you or someone you know could just die. With no preparation or anything. No goodbye, nothing. So make sure to make everyone you know as happy as you can and live every day like it was the last of the day. I'm not gonna lie, I do forget about this and don't live my daily day like it was the last day, but I do try to make every single person I can be happier. So I went from being a kid, I, I went from being kind of a douchebag to what I would say a pretty nice person, all because of the fact that she died. When the second year of high school, high school started, I was still pretty broken. I get to hang out with all the other guys I got to know in high school again, felt pretty good. It was also the second year that I started to get to know more people. Oliver is someone I got to know better. I could even say he's one of the people I get the most happiness from when I see him. Not saying he's a favorite, but saying he's one of the people I get great happiness from. I started to get more in contact with Radde in the second year as well and now I could say that he is one of my best friends. He, even if I'm probably not very good at showing it, sorry about that. Now it's almost summer break again. I will say that people I know from high school are some of my best friends actually and I have not lost Joshua yet. We still, have, we still hang out from time to time. It's not even close to as much as we used to. Obviously, I did, not, I did not bring up everything that could be slightly important in my life since this text is already three pages long. So I know I did skip a lot of stuff and a lot of people I have been with in my life. But these are who I thought were the most important ones. So thank you all for so much for listening to my lore. And I hope I see you next Thursday. Goodbye.